So hello guys, so this problem is related to friction. So the problem says, two blocks are connected by a solid strut attached to each block with frictionless pins. So ito yung blocks nating dalawa. Then meron tayong solid strut na, na naka-attach sa kanilang dalawa. If the coefficient of friction under each block is 0.25 and B weighs 270 pounds, meaning to say, coefficient of static friction ng dalawang block is 0.25 the new B is may bigat na 270 pounds so it is acting vertically downward then find the minimum weight of A to prevent motion dito haanapin natin yung um, minimum weight ng A para hindi mag slide yung B sa kanyang pwesto so yung B is naka incline with 60 degrees and yung rod is naka angle ng 30 degrees from the horizontal so dito yung haanapin lang natin is yung weight ng A so para mahanap ang weight ng A, kailangan muna natin to interpret and it translate into free body diagram. So this is my free body diagram. So first, let's discuss about block A. So sa block A, meron tayong weight. So ito yung inahanap natin. Then we have friction force A. So ito yung preventing or resisting force para hindi mag-slide yung A. Then we have normal force A. So ito yung normal force from the horizontal surface. Then we have S. So S yung dynamic ng variable representing as yung ating strut. So yung approach ng force ng strut is acting downward with an angle of 30 degrees. So dito, yung strut natin is may angle na 30 degrees. Then pag 30 ito, yung kanyang kabilang angle is 30 degrees din. So meaning yung strut natin is 30 degrees below horizontal. Then apat lang yung mga force natin sa A. Then okay na, proceed tayo sa B. So dito sa B, yung unang-una natin is ilalagay is yung weight. Ito yung 270 pound. Then we have friction force B, which is acting opposite. So dito inassume natin na yung B is mag-slide. Therefore, my resisting force na going upward, it is friction force B. Then also, we have normal force from the surface. So it is perpendicular. So therefore, ito yun, NB. Then yung angle nito, since ito ay 60, Therefore, yung angle din ito is 60 degrees. Then, pag okay na, we can solve for unknowns in this two free body diagram. So first, kailangan muna natin uh, i-fill yung mga missing na given. So ito, kung 60 ito, therefore yung angle dito is 120. So yung flat line ay may angle na 180. Then pag 30 ito at 120, therefore yung angle nito is 30 degrees. So, yung total angles ng triangle ay 180. So, therefore, 30 plus 120 plus 30 is 180. Therefore, kung 30 ito, yung kanyang kabilang angle is also 30 degrees. Then, pag okay na, sa loss of friction, merong resultant force yung friction force and yung normal force. So, dito, pwede natin tong insertan ng resultant force ng friction force and normal force B. So, isusulat natin yan. And yung angle ng resultant is equivalent to tangent theta equals mu s. So, dito, yung coefficient of static friction natin is 0 0.25. So, di therefore, tan inverse tangent of 0 0.25. And yung angle natin is equals to 14.04 degrees. So, dito, pwede natin yung i-rewrite. So, ito na yung uh, representation ng ating NB at frictional force. So, Yung resultant niyan is ito with an angle of 14.04 with respect to NB. So dito pwede na natin i-set aside yung friction force B at yung normal force B kasi meron na representation sa kanilang dalawa as resultant force. So ito na lang yung tatlong uh, forces na present sa ating free body diagram B. Now na tatlo na lang yung forces natin, we can make these three forces as one using force triangle method. So ito na yung force triangle natin sa block B. So, dito, yung W is acting downward. It is 270. Then, we have S, which is 30 degrees. So, pareho lang yun dito kasi yung horizontal niya is parallel sa horizontal. Therefore, 30 degrees din yung kanyang angle similar dito. And, ganito din yung itsura niya pag nilagay sa triangle. So, pag 30 degrees ito, therefore, yung angle nito is 30 degrees. Next is yung R. So, ito yung R natin. So, we have 14.04. However, hindi natin alam yung angle nito. So, let's say this is angle alpha. At hindi rin natin alam ito. Let's say this is angle beta. 
But kanina sa ating uh, paglalagay ng mga angles na yung normal force which is ito and yung weight which is ito is 60 degrees. Hanggang dito yung 60 degrees natin. But meron tayong 14.04. This is 14.04. Same lang sa angle nito. So therefore, 60 minus 14.04 is equal to beta. So ito yung beta natin. So, what is beta? So, 60 minus 14.04 is, is equal to 45.96. And pag alam na natin yung beta, na it is also equivalent to this. So, this beta is equal to 45.96. Then, another rule is yung perpendicular angle natin is 90 degrees. So, alam na natin na yung beta plus 14.04 plus angle alpha is equivalent to 90 degrees. So, meron na tayong beta. So, yung kulang na lang is angle alpha. So, to solve alpha, we have alpha plus 14.04 plus 45.96 is equal to 90. So, alpha, i-transpose lang natin yan dito. Ay, may value na 30 degrees. Meaning to say, ito is 30 degrees. So, dito sa force triangle natin, yung reference point natin is yung vertical and horizontal. So, dito, yung horizontal angle ng S is 30 degrees. So, what is the horizontal angle of force? So, dito, i-add lang natin yung 14.04 and 30. So, we come up with 44.04. .04. So, pag 14.04 ito, therefore, yung angle niya sa kabila is 45.96, which is ito. So, pag 45.96 ito, yung angle na to is equal to 45.96. And ito is 60 degrees since perpendicular lang yung ating line. So, it is all 90 degrees. So, ito, pwede natin to i-add as total angle ng corner nito. So, we have 74.04 degrees. Dito, we can solve now for S. Since S lang yung kailangan natin, para ma-identify natin yung W dito. Hindi na natin kailangan kunin yung R since uh, di na, wala namang R sa ating prib uh, diagram A. So now solving, so using sign law, so we have 270 over sine 74.04 is equals to S over sine 45.96 is equals to R over sine 60. So now we can solve for S. So we have S is equals to 201.87. So now alam na natin yung S. Huwag na tayo magsayo ng oras doon kasi S lang yung kailangan natin dito sa ating block A. So now we can use summation f of x equals 0. So therefore friction force A is equals to S cosine 30. So, substitute natin 201.87 cosine 30. Yung friction force A natin is equals to 174.82 pound. Now, meron na tayong friction force A. So, yung hinanap natin is yung W. So, para malaman yung W, use summation F of Y equals 0. So, we have NA is equals to W and plus S, so y component sine 30. So dito, hindi pa natin alam yung NA. But may formula tayo para makamap yung NA. So may formula tayo na friction force equals mu times N. So dito, since sa uh, block A lang tayo nag-focus, so to be specific, lagyan natin yun ng A. Now, friction force A natin is equals to 174.82. Equals to mu natin sa problem is 0 0.25 since coefficient friction is under each block meaning yung a and b is parehong 0 0.25 so ito na so divide natin both side by 0 0.25 na is equals to 699.28 pound so ito na yung na natin then we can substitute this and A sa ating summation f of y. 
So we have 699.28 is equal to W plus yung S natin which is 201.87 sine 30. Then W is equal to 699.28 minus 100.94. So yung weight natin is 598.34. Pound, or approximately weight natin is 600 pound approximately so ito na yung answer natin meaning to stable lang yung dalawang block if yung A natin is 600 pound however pag yung weight natin sa A let's say 300 pound lang so magmove yung system natin going to the left and then minimum force lang yung 600 pound natin so, walang kaso kapag sumabra sa 600, hindi pa rin gagalaw yan. So, minimum lang yung 600 pound natin. Meaning, yan yung least value para hindi magalaw yung system na ito.